वेलकम टू माई साइट फॉर डायरीज यूर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सलेंस यूर गो टू चैनल फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इन साइट कोर एंड डॉट नेट दिस इज द वीडियो फ्रॉम द साइट कोर जे एस एस हेडलेस वीडियो सीरीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी डिफरेंट साइट कोर एस टी केज अवेलेबल इन साइट कोर फॉर द डेवलपमेंट आई एम योर होस्ट जितेंद्र घाणेकर आई एम एन साइट कोर टेक्नोलॉजी एम वी I give on all my social media account handles on the screen. You can follow me, subscribe me, or if you have any question, you can email me on my email address. What we are going to see today in this video? First of all, we will see what are what are the different SDKs available over your SDK. Then we will see what is the SP .dot net rendering SDK, what is Site Core JSS SDK, what is Headless Service uh, uh, SDK. and then the uh, important part that is the difference between all these three uh, sdks available so let's start first of all with the site core sdks so what are the different site core sdks we have the first one is the asp.net rendering sdk which support asp.net we will see in detail what is asp.net rendering sdk in future slide then we have a site code jss sdk used for such jss development and then we have a headless services using used for a pure headless uh, uh, development okay so these three are the uh, you were a uh, site code sdk is available in site code we will see each uh, one in detail in the next slides but before moving to the next slide let me request you if you have not subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel and click on the notification bell to get a latest update and if you like if you are liking the video please click on a like button please upload this video and let uh, youtube know that you are liking this video and do share this with your friends and colleagues so let's start detail of these three sdks So let's see what is Site Core ASP.NET Rendering SDK. The ASP.NET Rendering SDK is designed to allow developers to build applications using ASP.NET Core MVC or Razor Pages within the Site Core ecosystem. So it is used for the ASP.NET Core MVC or Razor Pages. So utilize the latest ASP.NET Core framework for building the web application. it supports both mvc model view controller and razor pages for rendering the content benefits from the strong typing and compile time checking of a c sharp it is c sharp based so benefits of a strong typing and compile typing tight time checking tight integration with site code experience editor and other authoring tool basically you can utilize the site code experience editor function support different rendering variant for flexibility in content presentation so you can have a different rendering variant in the presentation what is rendering variant if you have not seen that we, uh, you are if you are not aware then uh, i will suggest you to watch our uh, video on rendering variant i will give the link in the uh, description leverage asp.net core built in security features so it has a, it, it, it utilize the uh, inbuilt security features from asp.net core Now let's see what is Site Core Java JavaScript Rendering SDK. That is JSS. Site Core JSS is designed to allow developers to build Site Core application using popular JavaScript frameworks such as React, Angular, and Vue.js. So it is for the JavaScript framework. So you can use the React, Angular, and Vue uh, for using the Site Core uh, JavaScript Rendering SDK JSS. It supports multiple JavaScript frameworks. Encourage the creation of a reusable component. Allows developer to build and test application without running a site for instance. So there is a there is some there is a concept where you can run the application without site for instance. Enable integration with a live site for instance for real time content rendering. Supports site core experience editor and other content authoring tools, allowing content editors to manage content seamlessly. developers have complete control over the html and rendering processes we are going to see a detailed uh, difference between all three in the upcoming slide okay we will talk more there in the in detail now let's see site core headless service services sdk 
Sitecore headless service provides API and services to deliver contained to any front-end application not limited to JavaScript framework. So headless services is not limited to the just for a JavaScript framework. You can have any technology, uh, you can use any technology with this Sitecore headless service. Provides a RESTful and GraphQL APIs for content delivery. So it provides the RESTful and GraphQL APIs can be used with any front-end technology, not just the JavaScript frameworks. Contain as a service CAS delivers content to various channels including web, mobile, IoT, and more. So Sitecore Relay service is used as a contain as a service, and it can deliver not only just for a web, but it can be delivered for the mobile apps, IoT, and any other uh, kind of a uh, uh, application. Okay, it's not just limited to the web. It provides a GraphQL support, offers a powerful and flexible way to query a Sitecore content. Support Sitecore Experience Editor and other content authoring tools, allowing content editors to manage content seamlessly. Support scalable and high performance content delivery for a large scale applications. So now we are going to see the difference between these three SDKs in detail. Feature, SP.NET Rendering, SDK, JSS and Headless. The first thing is the use case. When we will use SP.NET Rendering SDK, <coughs> server-side rendered Sitecore apps with the SP.NET Core. So we will need a server-side rendering, then you can go with the SP.NET Rendering SDK. Sitecore apps with a JavaScript framework. So you want to utilize the JavaScript framework efficiently, then you can go with the JSS. Delivering content to any front-end via APIs. So you need a hundred percent headless application, uh, headless CMS. Then you should go for a headless services framework. Uh, SP.NET rendering SDK uses SP.NET Core, which also support MVC and Razor pages. JSS support React, Angular, Vue, Next. Headless service any front end technology. There is no limitation in headless services. Contain authoring. Integrated with Sitecore Experience Editor, you can utilize the uh, utilize the uh, Experience Editor in both uh, SP.NET Rendering SDK and JSS. API based content delivery is separated from the completely from the front end. You have APIs. It is limited to .NET APIs and Sitecore SDK. It is limited to JSS specific APIs. Headless services provide two APIs, uh, uh, two ways you can get the data from the API. One is a RESTful API and another is a GraphQL APIs. Development workflow. So, it ISP.NET Rendering SDK uses a server-side development with C Sharp. JSS uses a component-based JavaScript development, whereas Headless uses the decoupled and API-first development. So, this is the, the difference between the development workflow. When we talk about multi-channel delivery, uh, ASP.NET and JSK is primarily web focused, whereas headless it can be anything like web, mobile, IoT, and more. Scalability. ASP.NET is for the more moderate scalability. Similarly, JSS. Whereas headless is designed for the high scalability and high performance, you can you can you can scale your front end and back end both in the headless services separately. Rendering mode, uh, SP.NET we already discussed that it uses the server side rendering. JSS SDK support both connected and disconnected mode. Now what is connected mode? What is disconnected mode? That we are going to see in future videos. API driven content delivery. So basically headless services only delivers the content. Okay, there is no rendering as on the headless services. Performance, server side rendering benefits server side. So whatever the server side rendering you are using, all those benefits will get into the SP.NET rendering SDK. Similarly, client side rendering potentially faster UI updates. Uh, for the JSS SDK for headless services, client side rendering highly scalable. Okay, then the learning curve. If you talk about the learning curve, the SP.NET rendering SDK requires the knowledge of ASP.NET Core and C Sharp. J JSS SDK requires knowledge of JavaScript framework. Uh, headless services require the knowledge of API integration. Alright, we are done for today.
if you like this video do click on a like button and do provide your feedback via the uh, comment section if you are not subscribed to the channel i'm requesting you do do consider subscribing subscribing to the uh, to our channel and click on a notification bell to get a latest update we'll meet uh, in next video thank you